Hello grade and mabuhay, this is Larry M. Del Rosario and in this video ay yung continuation ng naging topic natin about arithmetic sequence. So, ito na yung part 2 ng ating lesson. So, bago, bago tayo mag-start, please feel free to watch and do not forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button so that you will be notified on our next video. Okay, so the first term of an arithmetic sequence is A. So, dinedenote natin yung first term ng arithmetic sequence as A or minsan A sub 1. That's it. So, we add D. We know we denote common difference as D. So, pag nakakita kayo ng D, that is the common difference to get the next term. Na-discuss na natin yun. So, para malaman natin yung next term ng arithmetic sequence, kailangan i-add natin yung common difference to the previous term. Kapag ginawa natin yun, magkakaroon tayo ng pattern. Therefore, there is a formula because we have the pattern that we can use to give us any term that we need without listing the whole sequence. Let's say, for example, we are looking for the 100th term. Do we need to to add many common difference hanggang sa makarain tayo sa 100th term? So, it is tasky, matagal. So, meron tayong formula para mas madali sa inyong madetermine yung value ng certain term ng arithmetic sequence na hinahanap natin. So, let's say for example, we have the given 3, 7, 11, and 15, and so on. We know na yung ating A or yung ating first term ay 3. And yung ating common difference ay 4 since 7 minus 3 is 4. In order to find the first term, or this is simply 3, so T sub 1 or the first term equals A equals 3. In order to find the second term, we are going to add the common difference na 4 doon kay 3. So, T sub 2 equals A, yung first term, plus the common difference, which is 3 plus 4, and P plus 4 is 7. So, our second term is 7. In order for us to determine the third term, we are going to add the first term, a common difference and another common difference and using common factor if you are still familiar with common factor how many d do we have they are common right so pwede natin silang pagsamahin so we have the general rule which is a plus 2d or 2 times d kasi dalawa yung common difference natin which is equal to 3 for the first term plus 2 times the common difference which is 4 and 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 which is equal to 11 so lagi yung tatandaan mamaya yung pag-generate ng general form na gagamitin ninyo kasi may mga pagkakataon na more than one term yung ipinapahanap sa item so importante na alam mo yung uh, makapag-generate generate ka or makapag-derive ka ng general form or formula para ma-apply mo agad yung term na hinahanap natin. Hindi siya, hindi ka maihirapan or hindi ka laging back to scratch when solving. Para naman sa fourth term, so mag tayo ng yung, common, eh, yung first term natin, mag tayo ng common difference para sa second term, another common difference para makuha yung third term, or another common difference para makuha yung fourth term. So, we have how many D? We have 3D. So, we have A plus 3 times D, kasi tatlo yung D natin. Equals 3 plus 3 times 4, which is equal to 15. The first term of an arithmetic sequence is A. Discuss na natin yan. We add the D to get the next term. There is a pattern, therefore there is a formula. Or sometimes explicit formula. Hindi siya, uh, hindi siya directly given. So you have to derive it first bago mo makuha yung explicit formula na yun. So we can use to give use any term that we need without listing the whole sequence kasi nga task. So the general formula... Or the n term of an arithmetic sequence is given by the formula t sub n equals a plus the quantity n minus 1 times 3. Don't forget, minsan ginagamit din natin yung, yung notation na a sub n. Or usually yung talaga yung ginagamit, a sub n, to denote the term of an arithmetic sequence. O ano ba yung tinatawag natin, t sub n? O, if this is the last term in the sequence or the number you are looking for. Pwedeng last term, kung yun lang yung given, or yung um, number that you are looking for. Pwede yun, yung P sub N. And A, or A sub 1, is our first term. 
n is the same kung ano yung value natin sa t sub n. Let's say, for example, we have t sub 5. Since we are looking for the fifth term, kung ano yung value nung sub noong t, t sub n, and ang naging t sub 5 siya, isa substitute lang natin yung value nun, dun sa n natin, dun sa kabilang side. So, the position, the term is n. Since we are looking for, for example, the fifth term, yung position, kung ano yung value ng panglimang term. So, t sub 5 ang gagamitin natin and papalitan natin lahat ng n ng 5. 1 is constant, lagi siyang ganyan, and d is the common difference. Para mas maintindihan ninyo, mag, magbibigay ako ng uh, series of examples. Find the 40th term of the arithmetic sequence 4, 7, 10, and 13. This time, given yung sequence. So, you have to be careful. You have to notice that we are looking for the term. We are looking for the term. Gagamitin natin yung general formula, which is T sub N equals A plus N minus 1 times D. Ngayon, i-identify muna natin yung given natin. Ano yung ating T sub N? So, it will become T sub 14. Hindi pa natin alam yung value yung T sub 14. Pinalitan pa lang natin. Ibig sabihin, ito pa lang yung position. ba? Ito pa lang yung position. Hinahanap natin ngayon, ano yung value nung pang 14 na term. Since pinalitan natin si T, si N ng 14, lahat ng N papalitan natin ng 14. And of course, our first term is 4 plus 14 yung N natin, minus 1, and what is the common difference? 3. Because 7 minus 4 is 3. So, T sub 14 is equal to 4 plus 14 minus 1 is 13. And simply add 3. So, we have 4 plus 13 times 3 is 39. And 4 plus 39 is 43. So, yung pang 14 na term natin doon sa sequence ay 43. Kapag minano-mano mo yan, nag-add ka ng continuous na common difference doon sa IA in each term, at makakarating ka doon sa pang-14 na term, ang makukuha mong sagot ay 43. Another example. Find the 14th term of the arithmetic sequence with first term of 5, and the common difference is negative 6. This time, we are still looking for the 14th term. Ang pinagkaiba lang, hindi na given yung sequence. Pero as you notice, diba? uh, merong mga variables na, ay, merong mga value na given. Let's say, for example, given na yung first term, which is 5, and given na yung common difference, which is neg negative 6. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, nahanapin natin yung 14th term. We can simply use the formula. So, identify natin our A is equal to 5 since that is our first term and D is negative 6 since that is our common difference. The same with the previous example, we have T sub 14 equals A which is 5 plus what is the value of N? 14 minus 1 times the common difference which is negative 6. Okay, so T sub 14 equals 5 plus, of course, yung N natin ay 14 minus 1 times negative 6, the common difference, which is equal to 5. 14 minus 1 is 13 times negative 6. And 13 times negative 6 is negative 78. So 5 plus negative 78, we have plus tsaka minus. So it will become 5 minus 78, and that is negative 73. So, the 14th term or yung pang 14 na term ng sequence natin ay negative 73. Again, we don't need to list, to list down as long as we know the formula. So, now you try. So, find the 10th and 25th term given the following information. Make sure to derive the general formula first and then list that you have been provided. So, laging tatandaan, we are looking for the 10th and the 25th term. So, we have the sequence 1, 7, 13, and 19, followed by the first term is 3, and the common difference is negative 21. The second term is 8, and the common difference is 3. So, para masagutan nyo itong given problem na to, pwede nyo ipos yung 
yung video for a while and then solve it and then get back and then see kung ma- tingnan ninyo kung tama yung nakuha ninyong sagot at yung solution na ginawa ninyo. Okay, let us now try to answer it. So, the first one is 1, 7, 13, and 19. Uh, always remember, dalawa yung term na hinahanap natin. So, we have to derive the formula first. So, kukunin muna natin yung common difference at yung ating first term. So, our first term is 1. And the common difference is 7 minus 1, which is 6. So, given the formula, t sub n equals a plus n minus 1 times d, which is equal to 1 plus Yung a natin ay 1, pinalitan lang natin ha, huwag malilito, pinalitan lang natin yung a ng 1 plus n minus 1. Hindi muna natin nilagay kung pang ilan term yung hinahanap natin kasi nga, i-derive muna natin yung formula times 6 which is equal to 1 plus, if you, if you still remember the distributive property, so we are going to distribute 6 doon sa uh, quantity, so we have 1 plus 6 times n is 6n. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. So, the general formula is t sub n equals 6n and 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So, 6n minus 5. Tsaka pa lang tayo magsa-substitute ng values. So, una natin nga hanapin ay yung pang sampung term. So, t sub 10 equals 6 Papalitan natin yung n ng 10 minus 5. So, 6 times 10 is 60 minus 5 is equal to 55. T sub 25 is equal to 6 times 25, uh, 150 minus 5, which is equal to 145. The next item, the first term is 3 and the common difference is negative 21. Hindi given yung sequence, but as you can see, andyan na yung first term, andyan na yung common difference. Ang una natin gagawin, we identify it. So, our A is simply 3 and the common difference is negative 21. So, using the formula, again, we are just going to derive it first para mas madali. So, as you notice, Para makuha na, yung ating general formula na nabuo ay t sub n equals 24 minus 21 times n. So, t sub 10 equals 24 minus 21. Papalitan natin yung n ng 10 and that is equal to negative 186. Yun yung pang 10th term natin. And t sub 25 equals 24 minus 21 times 25 which is equal to negative 501. And that is our 25th term. Yung third given, the second term is 8 and the common difference is 3. Ano yung given second term at yung, at yung common difference? Hindi given yung first term. Kung para makuha natin yung next term, i-add natin yung common difference. This time, para makuha naman natin yung previous term niya, let's say for example, given yung second term, para makuha natin yung first term niya, yung kabaligtaran, we are going to deduct or subtract 3. So, our first term is 8 minus 3, which is equal to 5, and the common difference is 3. And next, using the formula, we are going to derive it first. So, we have the general formula 3n plus 2. So, papalitan lang natin yung n ng 10 para makuha yung 10th term. Papalitan natin yung n ng 25 para makuha yung 25th term. So, t sub 10 equals 3 times 10 plus 2. 3 times 10 is 30 plus 2 is equal to 32. 3 times 25 is 75 plus 2 which is equal to 77. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you learned something. Please uh, kindly leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you will be notified on our next video. Kasi meron pa tong, yung video natin na to, yung lesson natin na to, ay may iba't iba pa siyang parts para mas maintindihan nyo siya. Okay, that's all. Thank you and God bless.